what's going on guys this is Sebi1015 and today I have a special video for you guys um, you've seen many of these before on my channel that's really nothing new unless you just came to my channel and check it out or just to see this knife there you go I'm an idiot it is a knife unboxing video if you didn't already know because I said knife um, so yep Untech USA, extreme knife, extreme, uh, that's not necessarily true, this knife doesn't come that sharp out of the box, but you can definitely, uh, do some damage with it, this thing is nasty, um, yeah, got my camera to focus every two seconds, because I'm using the Galaxy S5 to record, not the best, but this is really good, but, uh, I got this for 40 bucks at a New, New Hampshire Army Barracks store. And uh, this is a pocket right here. Where you can probably put like a survival kit or a uh, flint. Maybe like a sharpening rod or like an actual sharpening stone. That'd be more smart. And uh, this is the actual knife itself. Hmm, some of you may have seen something like this, uh, I actually have and I know exactly where it's from because it's in Call of Duty Ghost. Now let me get close to the screen so I can blind you guys, but as you can see, this is the exact knife from Call of Duty Ghost, except this came out before that. And they made that knife look really stupid. But yeah, yeah, um... This is the same knife from Call of Duty Ghost, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, uh... That is pretty cool that they got this in the game. In Battlefield 4, they included the, uh... Down Under Knives. Outback Bowie. Um, it's called the Bowie Knife in Battlefield 4 multi multiplayer. But, um... About the sheath has a very nice belt loop. I think this is a little big though, because I wear this around my belt, and it does take up a lot of room in that slot. This goes around your leg, and it's adjustable, and it clips right in. Like that. It goes around your leg, so it doesn't sway around, and it's easy to actually take it out of the sheath when this is on your leg. Uh, this is full tank construction. Uh, we have a lot of interesting stuff going on here. We have this part, which is meant for like small woodwork. That's actually been my, what I've been using it for mostly. Up on my, my New Hampshire trip. I sound like an idiot. I can't even talk right. Uh, let me focus the camera. Alright. That'll do for now. It has a blood, blood groove on both sides. I'm really not happy with my decisions of talking today, but it has a uh, kind of like a sawback feature here. That's not actually sharp, but you, you know, can definitely sharpen that and use it. Uh, it has a Tonto style blade right here. This knife. You know, carry some weight to it. I'm just going to give you guys an example. Uh, yeah, why not? This is a PS3 remote. I'll just show you how big it is. Because it's actually not like a too, too big knife. And it's not really a small knife. But this is a PS3 controller. This is a... And this is the knife that I just got for 40 bucks. The... M-Tech Extreme Series, that's what I'm going to call it, the M-Tech Extreme Series Survival Tactical Military Rescue Knife, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, you can hold it very nice like this or like that, but uh, like if you want to hold it like that, you really can't because... These things dig into your skin, and there's no way to actually, like, remove that, because that's actually part of the metal 
that's used to make the blade. So, <laughs> no way working around that unless you grind that out, which I don't recommend, because that isn't really a thick, thick handle in some parts, but whatever you can have an... Hold up, let me focus. Maybe two seconds, I have to do this, sorry. No, it's not doing... There we go. Well, if you have an Allen wrench, you can take these out, and you can just have the actual blade and whatnot by itself. Hold it like this, too. That's actually really comfortable, because this part of your thumb goes it's actually really smooth, or you can go like that. And, uh, this big circles right here. I'm actually going to find uh, I have some paracord and I'm gonna make like a little paracord thing right here so you know you know for safety reasons and because it's a knife I think paracord would be pretty useful with a knife like this because it is a technically a survival knife or military knife or whatever this thing has a nasty blade. Um, it's pretty thick. It actually is pretty thick. And that's... This is a high-end company, M-Tech. Of course, it's not, you know... High-tech expensive-wise, but... I mean, not high-tech, no, sorry, high-end. It's not high-end and, like, really expensive of a company, but some products pretty much are pretty expensive by them but this knife comes at a perfect price it is a perfect for me at least just overall knife to use to carry around because I'm actually gonna go riding today on my ATV out in the trails and I'm actually gonna put this on my waist uh oh it does come with is this fake paracord type of thing whatever so you know it's some string that you can use this adjusts, but I really don't know why you would mess with this. I mean, when this goes on your leg, the bottom part of the string will dangle around to where your ankle might be, where, like, your shin, and that's really low. You don't want to get caught or anything, so what you can do is you can open this pouch right here and shove the, the uh, strings in. That'll work, but anyways, this knife is amazing. Uh, let me see if it's made in China. That would be amazing if it's not, uh, this is USA Premium Design, yeah, precision crafted in China, but, whatever, it's not all knives that are made from China are bad, I mean, I own, most of my knives are actually made from China, or Pakistan, or some other country that is not America, and they are very good knives, so, that's, that's a reason why you don't only stick to U.S. brands, but this is a U.S. brand, which is made in China, because what isn't made in China, huh? But anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, oh, if you actually get this knife, I recommend sharpening it, if it already isn't sharp out of the box, because I noticed that this part right here in the blade, this like weird looking spot, really doesn't come with much of an edge and that will be really useful for uh, doing small woodwork with so if you do get this knife and you want to do small woodwork with it highly recommend you sharpen basically the entire blade of it and especially this part right here because it probably won't come that sharp at all but uh this small plastic piece in here is the only downfall about this sheath, to be honest. Well, besides this belt loop, uh, this plastic piece will come out when you take the knife out sometimes. And I actually can't take it out with my hands, but... One second. I am able to, and sometimes when you take the knife out, this weird plastic piece that's supposed to, like, hold the knife comes out with the knife, and it's some, like, cheesy plastic thing with like foam on the sides but you can tuck that right in or take it out altogether but I'd kind of recommend keeping it in there because it actually the sheath is a lot more sturdy with it for some reason but 
You know, this is a knife. This knife is amazing. I love it. It's probably now one of my favorite knives because I've actually like fully done stuff with this. Not like some of my knives I actually just buy and never really, really use them for what the purpose of them is meant to be for. Yeah, I said that right. Um, if you buy this online, I'm not sure how much money it is, but I did get mine from a army army barracks store for 40 bucks and it was well worth the money i actually had no idea that m tech made this knife because i knew that it was the exact one from call of duty ghost and i thought that it was in battlefield 4 the uh the weaver but it actually it's not so uh anyways guys thanks for watching this video hopefully you liked it if you get the knife do sharpen this, you know, this part of the blade and the whole blade itself is really not to sharpen a knife good. But, uh, thanks for watching. And hopefully you get to watch my other knife unboxing videos and just all my other videos in general. My last two, yes, my last two videos were about me on my new Honda TRX 450R. My, like, first official ride with my Polaroid. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. This is actually what I use to capture my footage in the trails with. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, it is so much better than a GoPro. Don't buy a GoPro if you have known. If you're looking for a really high-end, good action video camera, go with this. It's cheaper. The quality is honestly better. The sound quality is good. Probably the same as the GoPro, maybe a little less, but that's only the that it's only like one of the downfalls about this. It's waterproof without a case. It doesn't come with a case with it. This is it. This is the camera itself. This is waterproof. I've been out and soaking wet rain, you know, wet rain, because you know if you go on dry rain, you might not get wet, but wet rain is the, the stuff that'll actually test the waterproof ability of this but you have to I have to focus my camera again wow look at that that's good all right so when it when it's like that that's locked when it's like that it's unlocked and doing this with one hand is kind of tricky but you have to yeah <laughs> all right I'm gonna put the camera right here that might be upside down now but all right so you have a charger hd full hd um switch i keep it on full hd reset i don't really want to touch that but right here 32 gigabyte sim card sd card sorry and I've never maxed this out, and I've had a lot of videos saved up on this. 32 gigabytes, when it comes with it, it's perfect. That's really all you need, because uh, the camera battery life, it lasts longer than GoPro, but it's not the best. Uh, this is an HD cable that you can hook up to your TV, so you can actually, uh, what's it called? Preview videos before you upload them or something like that. Uh... Is really a great camera. I highly recommend this and this knife, which is the main star of the video today. I hope I didn't get off topic too much, but thanks for watching this video and uh, see you guys in the next one.